Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, uh, Beyond the Bars. Um, welcome back, and if you're new here, uh, thank you for coming and watching the video. Uh, check out the other videos. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, so today's video, let's see, I did a poll, and I know people wanted, um, it was between, like, sharing your story and, uh, I was gonna do my makeup, but I really don't feel like doing my makeup, so I'm just gonna go to go and I'm just gonna go ahead and do like a story time, because I don't feel like doing my makeup. It's I feel like yesterday I was super busy. I mean I've been working, and then yesterday I was super busy like cleaning and doing a bunch of stuff. Today I literally I straightened my hair, my hair. I want to cut it because it's all like I have no idea what's going on. There there's different lengths and different. I have no idea what's going on with my hair. Um, so I kind of want to let it grow out, but at right at this, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. So I, some sections of my hair, I guess, are growing. Some sections are not. I have no idea what the hell's happening. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm just going to do a story time, I guess. Uh, let's just get into it. Uh, make sure to subscribe, you guys. Subscribe, share the videos, um, share our channel, my channel, because it's basically my channel. Um, anyways, um yeah so let's get into it you know um let's just do like a little situation like you know when i was younger i always wanted uh i think a lot of girls uh especially like my age my generation uh or even before like you know we all grow up like with the whole disney situation everybody wants to get married and they want to be happy and they they want um to you know meet somebody and be married and be and have like a big wedding and have like the most beautiful dress and so like me like I always wanted to get married and I always wanted to have like the most like extra sparkly huge ball gown situation you know and I always said like oh I always wanted you know this now like I want to have like a big dress like beautiful hair and like the best makeup like I don't want to look natural like make me look beautiful you know fake I don't care um and like I wanted it to be like this huge situation like elegant and romance and whatever right okay so I mean I I, I don't want to just be like oh whatever like it never happened because you never know you know you never know what things can happen when they can happen and so yeah, that was uh, my dream of having when I was younger, and um, I ended up meeting somebody uh, that was in prison, and I obviously never thought it would get to that point of a seriousness. You know, I just thought it was just gonna be like this quick little let's talk. I'll be your friend or like a little boyfriend girlfriend. Like I'll visit you. You know, whatever. That's what I thought it would be. And well, obviously, it turned out to be something more serious, you know. Um, I think the first time I saw him in person was like June of 20, 2010. Like June. Yeah, like June 20, 2010. Oh, Jesus Christ. And um, obviously, some people know. I don't think I've ever talked about it on YouTube, but I think Instagram. So let me just, I'm just, if I've talked about it, whatever. I don't think I have, though. I really probably have it. Um, maybe I have. But um, anyways, uh, it was a non-contact visit. Uh, that's behind the glass. Um, so you don't get to touch. You don't get to hug. Um, that was in June. And then in October, like I was going every weekend to visit this man, this boy, because he was 20 years old. I mean, that is a boy. Um, I was 19, he was 20, and, um, yeah, every weekend I would go and spend time together for an hour, you know, we would just sit there on the phone, like, talk, look at each other, touch the glass, and be fruity, you know, just, like, you know, like, just be happy, you know, enjoy, I guess, our presence, and, uh, yeah, and so it, it, October comes along, and we've talked about like marriage you know in our letters and like in person we talked about it like oh yeah i want to be married like i want to get married he wanted to get married um obviously you know not thinking about it i'm like you know i mean obviously he's always said like i always wanted to be married like i wanted to get married when i was younger 
But not thinking about it, I was like, oh, bruh, were you really trying to get married? Because it don't look like it. Maybe you just... Anyways, in my mind, I'm like, in prison, you probably was trying to get married, but whatever. So anyways, um, you know, October came along and I went to go visit him. And I remember the date because we were even at a point where we would write letters. We would write like the date. You know, we started dating and then we started writing like the date that we were engaged or whatever, which was October 3rd. I don't know what day, Saturday, Sunday, whatever day that was. I went to visit him and we're just sitting here. I don't remember anything, anything about that visit at all. But I do remember the only thing I remember was him like literally, I don't even know what we were talking about. And he just says like, all I remember is him saying like, do you want to marry me? And I was like, what? And so here I am like a dumbass what are you asking me or are you telling me <laughs> Ugh, so dumb i'm just like i should have just been like okay <laughs> anyways and so i'm like are you asking me or are you telling me and he was like i'm asking you and i was like okay so then asked me and he was like do you want to marry me and i'm like yeah and he was like okay and i was like okay so i guess we're getting married that's all i remember i don't remember anything else i don't remember what we talked about i don't even remember what was happening i don't remember anything so that is literally how i got proposed i guess um you know i guess if you even call that a proposal i feel like it probably was because he did ask me and i said yes and then obviously like after that um we didn't get married until like three years later. Yes, three years later. Because uh, this happened in 2010. We ended up getting married uh, April. April, no. Wait, when did we get married? March. Stop it. March 9, 2013. Oh my God, I literally almost forgot. So, yeah, March 9th, 2013. I don't remember you guys because we seriously, since he's gotten out, like, we don't celebrate any anniversary. So, I really don't even know. I forget. I mean, I, I literally for, I forget stuff anyways. So, I've, people ask me, like, how long we've been married. I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> and I have to count, you know. I'm like, I don't know, 2013. So, I don't know you count because I really don't know. Um, but yeah, that is how I was proposed. And, you know, we always talked about like, you know, like actually having like a real wedding and like having like an actual proposal. And he always said, you know, obviously you know, this was all during prison. Um, you know, like I'm going to propose to you the right way. And, um, you know, like it's going to be special. It's blah, 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 blah. Mind you, he's been out for two years and he hasn't done shit. So, really, I think after a couple of months, I was like, okay. And even if you do ask me, I'm probably going to say no. And I told him, I was like, um, can I take it back? Because clearly, this is not what I expected. Um, but yeah, so obviously, it's it never happened. It never was like, you know, you see these girls on TikTok or whatever, and you're like, oh, that is so nice. It's so lovable. Like, oh my gosh. Like, oh. Like, even, like, fucking take me out to the taco place and ask me at the taco place. You know what I mean? But, um, obviously, it's it never happened. It's probably never going to happen. Um, I don't expect it anymore. I don't expect a wedding. I don't expect, like, a church wedding. I don't expect anything, actually, from him. Um, so yeah, I think that's just where we're at, you know? Like, I mean, sorry, not where we're at. That's where I'm at. Like, you know, I, I felt like if if it was, if somebody really wanted to do it, like, they could have done it. Even if it was, like, in any other type of way or form, you know, something cute. Like, you know, we did live together for so long. Um, you know, like, I don't know. But, I don't know. I don't know what his plans were. And I really don't know what his plans are now. And, um, yeah, you guys, that's how I was proposed to in prison nothing exciting and mind you i have seen like proposals in prison that were like legit proposals like my friend my friend susan uh r.i.p my friend susan 
um, before we became friends, uh, and the only reason why I remember her, and I talked about her on my podcast, you guys, so check out my podcast, and it's, uh, I think it's, like, my friend Susan or my dear friend Susan. She was the best. Oh, my gosh. She was amazing. Um, she was cool. I liked her. But before we were friends, um, I remember going to visit one day, and we were sitting there, and uh, they went to go take a picture because they would literally take – I like how I'm so excited about telling this story than, like, this other story. Um, they would take pictures, like, all the time she was there, right? And, um, so this day, and the only reason why I remember her is because I remember the first time I saw this lady, I was like, oh, she looked like a bitch. Like, ugh, I don't like you. You know, like, I was like, I don't like you. Like, I don't like you, ma'am. I don't know. And so, and, and okay, so that's one. Two, she was like my height, Asian lady. She was a, like, half Asian, half Mexican. Uh, I think she was Filipino. Filipino, Japanese, I don't know, Asian, I can't remember what, and then Mexican, and, um, yeah, and then her dude was super tall with a mustache, super tall, skinny, and tall, and, like, with a mustache, so, and bald, so, I'm, like, okay, like, y'all, I could just, you know, I, I remember you guys, so, anyways, uh, I feel like I'm describing a lot of inmates, but anyways, so, anyways, um, yeah, they went to go take a picture, and, like, all of a sudden, like, we're looking, I'm looking, because I'm nosy, you know, and he literally gets on one knee, and fucking, um, like, has a whole ring and everything, and, 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 like, he gets on one knee, and they take, like, the picture when he does this, so he gets on one knee, and, like, has the whole, like, ring to her, and, like, you know, whatever, and so, that was, like, a whole ass proposal, and I was like, you could have fucking done that shit to me for me. Like, the fuck, you know? And um, that wasn't the only one. I just can't remember any other ones. But I know that they have happened. I just can't pinpoint them. I just remember hers because I remember her. She was my friend. Um, And so, yeah. And I remember we talked about it, like, after once we became friends. And she's like, yeah, that was so embarrassing. Like, he literally did that. Like, how did he even get the ring? Were we friends already? I don't remember. I think we had just maybe just started talking. I don't remember, but I feel like she was like we were talking about it, and she was like, "It's so embarrassing. Like, how did he even get the ring? Like, how you know the CEOs knew that he was going to propose with a ring? Like, they knew, you know." Um, and everything and so i think what had happened was that his celly or his friend or something their mom bought it for him and like brought it to him even though you're not supposed to but brought it to him so he can propose you know so he paid for it like you know he gave her the money i guess i don't remember it's some shit like that yeah, because I think he told Eric, and so then, um, but yeah, and then obviously he told her, and then, like, she told me, and, like, Eric told me, and I was like, that's, oh, my God, that's so cool. But she had, like, those memories, you know? She had, like, those pictures. <sighs> oh, sorry. I should not be yawning. Anyways, um, I'm trying to figure out if it's some, some type of mechanism that's going on in my head, because every time I do video and every time I do like a recording i start yawning i don't know why i think i bore myself out i have no idea but i literally yawn i don't know but um yeah you guys so her proposal was cool and i'm like well at least he has those memories now that you know susan's not here but you know what i mean like that was nice like that's freaking nice um uh if there's any proposals that you have any proposals yeah any proposal that you've gotten that was like Bitch, what the fuck was this? Write it in the comments. Let me know. I like to hear stories. Or if you there was a prison proposal that you had, that you got, maybe, maybe one, two, I don't know how many. Or like if you saw one and you're like, oh my God, that's, that's, they went above and beyond. What the fuck? Or like, you know, like this dude literally, or like, you know, you're like, mine was like yours. We just said was going, he asked me, do you want to marry me? And I'm like, yeah, boring. You know what I mean? Hmm uh yeah i mean our wedding day was probably a little bit more special than that but we'll talk about this some other time yeah i think i still have the outfit that i wore 
for that day. I don't remember. But yeah, you guys. So um, yeah, that is how I was proposed. Hella boring, hella basic, hella like nobody cared. He didn't care, whatever. Um, yeah, and then share your proposal. I want to know if yours was amazing in in the outside world in prison and wherever it was let me know if it was in family visit because i feel like some people well obviously it's not going to be proposed to in family visit because you were already be married but you know what i mean like if you didn't get the chance to your man like get on one knee like maybe i feel like i did hear that one time like somebody in family visit like did the whole thing like in 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 family sorry somebody in prison told me that when they went to family visit their husband had done like this whole like get on one knee situation thing i don't remember but i feel like <laughs> I feel like i did hear that one time one time oh yeah you guys so i have other stories too like i have like good juicy stories that i'm like what you know everybody everybody's super nosy in prison so they like to share with everybody um and then me being hella nosy i'm like let me know tell me tell me tell me tell me what happened um but yeah so i'll share some more stories uh, more interesting ones this was just you know i just wanted to share with you guys you know it's boring but share with me any interesting ones and um yeah don't forget to like and subscribe you guys we'll be back um yeah thanks for watching and uh have a great week and enjoy your week and happy holidays enjoy your holidays um and maybe i will be doing some type of holiday video but i'm not doing anything you guys this year has been the most I don't even know. But thanks for watching. Okay, guys. <laughs> Bye.